Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is our second patron video. So patron Michael, first he kind of joins up for a few packs and then he messages me and says, hey, can I, uh, can I do more than a few? It's kind of like, yeah, would you, would you have in mind? He's like, can I just do like a whole box of Theros? Yes, <laughs> yes, you can. So we got a box of Theros here. And let's see what we get course let's see if we can get a whole bunch of gods and titans out of this okay let's just end up and unpack and of course 36 booster packs i always kind of joke because it's not something i do as often so sometimes it feels a bit like a marathon All right, well, let's see what in the world. Let me move some stuff out of the way here. All right, there we go. Okay, so then you're going to get into commons in classic form. We're not going to go through all the commons. There is a particular uncommon I would like to track. So we will kind of go through that a little bit. And our first, though, we got Cloithus, God of Destiny, to start off the Mythics. And then I kind of want to put these aside, too, because... Uh, those are really cool. I mean, they are really, really cool. I mean, the, the land cycle looks really nice. Oops, that pack fell apart. Okay, so let's get back to it. Let's get to the uncommon. So we got Lagana. Oop, and let me try to focus here before I lose that. Is that better? Okay, Lagana Band Storyteller, Fateful End, Commanding Presence. And Ashyuk, Nightmare Muse for our second Mythic already. Wow. Then we got a Swampy. That's two, two Mythics and two packs. That is, that is wild. Okay, let me try to see if I can get the focus set here. Okay, get through the commons. So we got Dreamstalker Manticore. Hydra's Growth. Eutropia, the twice favored. Okay. And then we got Bronze Hide Lion for our first regular rare. Then we got a Swampy and a Nightmare. Let me move things around just slightly here. Let's do that. Okay. So I don't know if we were after anything in particular. You didn't really tell me if we were after any particular big hit. Not that it matters. What's in the box is what's in the box. And Nylea, keen-eyed in the uh, was it the constellation? I think they called it um, showcase version. So that is our third mythic, and we got a mountain. I know I'm kind of hoping to see Nick's Bloom Ancient. I think that would be cool to find. So if we pull that, I hope you won't mind. Or is it Croxa? I think that's uh, how you pronounce it. Okay, Nessian, Horn Beetle, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, and Wave Break, Hippocamp, Horsefish. You know, <clears throat> you can pretty much guarantee that something that's named Horsefish will be a bulk rare. It's like they built that card and they just know it. Like, nobody's going to play with this. Might go in like a few fun decks, Agonize and Remorse. Sweet Oblivion, and Thrix the Sudden Storm. So this was a card I was not familiar with until I started to look into uh, the set. And that's a, I don't know if it's a big monetary hit, but I think it's a really cool card. And we have Calpe, uh, Beloved of the Sea Foil Showcase. Okay, that's an uncommon. And we got a forest. Packs are shredding. Every time I work with the booster packs, they just fall apart on me. All right, so we got a Nax. So that's kind of interesting. So they loaded up the collector boxes with these showcase uncommons. And then they also had them in the draft boxes, huh? Okay, Thirondi Singer, Siona, Captain of the is it Pileus. And that is a that's cool looking artwork. Is it Apemia, the, the Cacophony? Uh, say words. Okay. That's a really cool drawing of Harvey. Let's 
So we got Mischievous Chimera, Hero of the Winds, Careless Celebrant, and Taranika, yep, Taranika, the Acroan Veteran. Okay, so those are some of those rares that I'm not overly familiar with in the set, which means they're probably closer to bulk. Not that bulk's not complainable. Oh, sorry, not playable. Yeah. <laughs> I should not complain about them, I should say. Field of Ruin, Cloythus Design, and Underworld Breach. Okay, solid hit. You're seeing that uh, Nylea and Eshok are not huge hits. Kind of looking forward to seeing what else we can possibly get out of the Mythic slot. Getting three that early was kind of weird. The birth of, was it Meletus? Sweet Oblivion. And Arasta, the Endless Web. Okay. And we got a foil, Nightmare Shepherd. That seems kind of cool. I have to say, this set is really cool how they did their borders. I really like that. The whole constellation setup. It's really nice looking. Yes, this is my thir first Theros Draft box cracked. Iliad's Punishment and Shatter the Sky. Swampy. All right, last pack of the first row. I'm, you know, what do you average? Four Mythics out of a out of a draft box, uh, you know, before recent times. So hopefully we're going to hit much higher than that. Okay, next. Destiny Spinner and uh, Timurit. Timurit. Timerit. Okay, the idea like two order. That's a pretty sweet hit. All right. Next pack. First pack of the middle. And I'm pretty sure I just flashed the rare. But, okay, Shimmerwing Chimera. Rise to Glory. Sage of Mysteries. Elspeth Conquers Death. Okay, and Nyxborn Brute. Foily, and a mountain. So we got the Archon of Fallen Stars, Heroes of the Revel, Thundering Chariot. Hey, Nyx Lotus. Like, that's not high value, is it? But it's kind of neat. I mean, it's can definitely pump out a ton of mana. Okay, Timurit, Chosen of Death from Death. So that is the foil showcase. That is really, really interesting. That the collector boxes and apparently the draft boxes are packed with those. Okay, Vanishing Light, Inevitable End. The Binding of the Titans. Enigmatic Incarnation, okay, in Daybreak, Chimera. All right, so it has, obviously, we hit three Mythics really quickly. So we are definitely on a bit of a, bit of a dry spot from the Mythics here, and it might be because we pulled three so quickly. I hope it isn't. hope we're going to find another one again soon. Mirror Shield and the first Aronian Games. And a foil... Archon of the Fallen Stars. And there is no the in there. I just added a the. Because when you're talking on camera, sometimes words come out of your mouth. I don't know if anybody knows this. Because you're looking through a screen. You're trying to pay attention to where your hands are at. Focus, focus, focus. Words come out. <clears throat> what was it? Ali Rios. Okay. Okay. Hey, Soul Guide Lantern. That's the one I kind of want to track. And we got Temple of Abandon, so our first of the Scry lands. And an island. Obviously, Scry lands are not the strongest of uh, land cycles. Uh, they're coming into play tapped with no ability to, to change that outcome. At least not from the card itself. It uh, kind of hurts it, right? That uh, hate, Hateful Elodian. Okay. 
Gravebreaker Lamia. All right. Some different cards. Watch, I put a couple things into that pile that are way better hit than Nick's Lotus. But because it's a Lotus, I know what it is. So there, there you go. Okay, Shimmer and Wing Chimera. So Tessian, is it Petitioner? Yep. Underworld Fires. All right, the Dryad. Sweet. That's a good rare hit. In fact, I'm going to have to move stuff around here a little bit. Hopefully that good rare hit pile expands greatly. Okay, Minions Return Foil. And an island, I guess. It's the color symbol. Okay. Elspeth's Nightmare. All right. Okay. Hero of the Nyxborn. Field of Ruin again. That's pretty cool. And Allure of the Unknown with the Seb McKinnon epic artwork. And a Foil Mantle of the Wolf Rare. Okay. I don't know if that's a good rare, uh, a good foil hit or not. Okay, so let me move stuff over a little bit. Just to keep it in frame. Okay. Apologize. That was a waste of time. There we go. Okay, Elspeth's Nightmare again. Hero of the Nyxborn again. Underworld Dreams. Love that, that that's in here. And Treacherous Blessing. Alright, I just grabbed one from the right side instead of doing what I normally do and finish off each stack. That's what happens when you move things. Get all out of whack. All right, so we got Acolyte of Affliction, Dream Shaper Shaman, the Birth of is it Meletus, Meletus, Mantle the Wolf in the Non Foil, oops, went way too far there. So we got Drag to the Underworld, Escape Velocity. Okay, that card. And Temple of Enlightenment for our next Scryland. And a Altar of the Pantheon foil. Oops. All right. Okay, so it's been a bit since our last hit. So let's hope for the best here. It's definitely been forever now since our last Mythic. Inevitable End, Storm Herald, Mischievous Chimera Foil. So we're starting to get to that point where we're going to be like, all right, all right, all right, all right. You gave us three early on, and when you talk about when they do the, the sorting, you'd think that this then might be a five mythic box, which would be pretty sweet. Okay, Fortune Rise, Renata, Call the Hunt, Command Presence, Yakroin War. Okay. Isn't that thing pretty cool? Yeah, I like that. That's not bad, right? I don't remember. Either way, it's going to go there. Can't remember if that's a... Like, it seems like a cool card. I don't know. Okay, so we got... this. Is there a Devourer of Memory? Warden of the Chained. Enemy of Enlightenment. And Gala, Galia of the Endless Dance. Okay. Satyrs. Yeah, because there's so many of those throughout magic history. I'm going to pump up your satyrs because that's a deck type. Yeah, I know. It's for, for, for limited standard, limited, really lim limited more than anything. I get it. Okay. Nyx Herald. Let me try to refocus the camera here. Reverent Hoplite, Sea God's Scorn, Nessian Boar, Mountain. All right, we definitely have hit a bit of a slump here. Definitely calm down here. All 
right, so we got Reverend Hoplite again. Cling to Dust. Glimpse of Freedom. Hey, Nyx Bloom Ancient. Very nice. Cool. So that is our fourth Mythic. Nice Mythic hit. And I am knocking over Uncommons over here. Let me stack those over here. All right, good to see. Good to see we kind of got off the schneid. Oof, okay. Um, if you watch my videos, you know I, I do stuff like that once in a while. Everything's okay. All right. So between the Dryad and Nyx Bloom, we're kind of getting a little bit of a bit of a green box here. Okay. Wolf Willow Haven. Dawn Evangel. Dream Shaper Shaman. Eat to Extinction. Okay. And the Triton Wave Runner Merfolk Wizard Foil. And we got a Seder token. Because again, I guess that was a archetype. Oh, that corner just came right off. Okay, so we got the Wolf Willow, Haven, Blood Esperant, Nassian Wanderer, Shadow Spear. Nice. Another good rare hit. And a forest. Is this a, is this a decent box so far? How, how's this doing? Is this doing okay? I feel like it's doing okay. Could be wrong. Could be a dumpster fire, but I don't think it is. Okay, set, is there Setsian, Devourer of Memory, Favored of Aronis, and Phoenish, <laughs> ugh, words, Phoenix of Ash. Just combine that into one word and be like, Phoenix. Because it's a Phoenix, I'm gonna assume it goes in the bulk pile, because I think just about every Phoenix ever made, except for one is. I don't remember what set that is. So we got uh, Ferris Band Brawler, Magana Band Storyteller, Glimpse of Freedom. So, so far we're getting a lot of duplication out of the Uncommons, and that's a Timoret Calls the Dead with that super creepy, is that, is that Timoret himself? Like this? That is, that's some crazy artwork. Okay, and then Unknown Shores Foil. Okay, so then we got the, the Band Brawler again. What is it? Meadow Mize Prophecy? Okay. A lot of these sagas seem so much better than Kaldheim's. Okay, and Nessian Horn Beetle. And Hilyad's Intervention. I know that's decent. All right, so we got three packs left. It'd be cool to see at least one more Mythic. You know, just because we had that early bump in Mythics, even though we are at the box average. But if you're going to give me three right away, right? There should be one more, maybe. Phoenix. Phalanx Tech. Sorry. Phalanx Tactics. Stinging uh, Lionfish. And Propros Intervention. All right. So next two packs. One of you two. One of you two have to uh, provide a Mythic right now. Okay, that'd be Phalanx Tactics, The Binding of the Titans, Sea God Scorn, Ashok's Erasure. Okay. Okay, last pack, everybody. Last pack. Got some last pack magic in us. I usually don't. It's not usually my calling card. So, Acolytes of Affliction, Impending Doom, Thundering Chariot, and Etrus, Oracle of half Truce. Okay, so that's the box. I want to thank Michael for uh, giving me a chance with all this. Give me a chance to open up an entire box on camera. Um, you know, I, I appreciate that. I'm going to send all this out to you. Appreciate that. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You know the drill. Till next time, goodbye.